If you remember from your schooling, there are five major types of arithmetic operations. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and exponentiation. Addition is represented by the plus sign. Subtraction is represented by the minus sign. Multiplication is represented by the star. Division is represented by the forward slash. And exponentiation is represented by the caret. For an in-depth explanation on arithmetic operators, please check out the documentation I have linked in the lecture notes. Alrighty, now let's put it into practice. Let's quickly add a new column to our Excel spreadsheet called Total Sales. This column will give us the total sales for each of our products over the two-month period. To do this, we just have to add up everything in each row, and thus using the plus operator. Remember that all calculations in Excel start with an equal sign. So let's type an equal sign, make a cell reference by clicking on B4, using the plus arithmetic operator, and then choosing the second one as well. This formula should give us the correct total sales for cupcakes. When everything looks good, we hit enter, and we see that Excel has correctly calculated the total for us. 140 plus 160 is 300. At this point, we could do this again and again for every other row, but Excel actually has an automation tool that is really useful in this scenario. If we hover the cell that we just added the formula to, you should see a small green box in the bottom right-hand corner. This feature is called Excel's Fill Handle, and it auto-fills your data for a given pre-specified pattern. In our case, the pre-specified pattern is the addition formula that we just built. So let's click the small green box and drag it to the bottom of the table. We can see that Excel has populated the sums of each row. Now, we should check to make sure that Excel is doing these calculations correctly. The best way to check your work in Excel is to check the cells that your calculation is referencing. Let's click on the second row, or hover it and use F2, and Excel should show us a color-coded description of the referencing cells. This looks good, this also looks good, and this looks good as well. Okay, let's also do this for a row called total monthly sales. I'm gonna extend this a little bit so it's fully in the cell. And now let's write another formula that instead of summing the rows, sums the columns. So I type equals 140 plus 220 plus 130 plus this cell, which I have to use my arrow keys to get to because it's hidden hit enter, and now we can see that we did 680 in sales over the month of January. To populate this to the rest of the table, all I have to do is use the fill handle again by hovering the bottom right-hand corner, clicking, and dragging. The only difference here is that we extended our summation to the total sales column as well. This means that this number in the bottom right-hand corner of the table is actually the sum of all the products over the two months, since it's summing the total sales of each product. We can see this happening if we press F2 and look at the formula.